Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I am gonna show you how you can teach a trap basketball defense. So basketball coaches and basketball players, if you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But right now, let's talk about how you can teach the trap basketball defense. The trap defense, basically all you need to uh, do is have your players trap the opposing ball handler, the guy who's dribbling the ball, on the sideline at half court. Quickly, let's go down to the clipboard. What you'll want to do is basically trap the player. As soon as he gets that ball, he dribbles that ball past half court. You want to have two players on him because then he can't dribble up this way. He can't dribble this way. He obviously is going to have a hard time passing because their hands are straight up. And he can't go back over the court this way as that would be an over and back call. And that would be a turnover. So that is basically the basics behind a trap. Now to teach it, there are multiple different ways and everyone has a different learning style. So the number one way is obviously you could just share this video with your team. That's one option. The second option is on a clipboard either an actual clipboard that you have a marker and you can draw on it and show them exactly what i just showed you with my phone that's an app on the phone called coach base but basically that is one way that is one way you can explain and say this is what a trap defense is this is the outcome this is why it's good and Going on from there, you can show them the defense that you want to run. The half court trap, the full court trap, whatever it is. So let's go over what a full court trap is. So let's go down to the clipboard. I like to show it on the clipboard because basically, well, it just makes things so much easier. So a full court trap, let's say player blue or the player blue players are the offense. So let's give them a so this would be a 1-3-1 one, one full court press. One player up front, three players in the middle, one player in the back. Basically, this player up front, his job is to get the ball handler to dribble to one side or the other. Once he gets that ball to one of the sides, so let's say player 1 got that ball and player 3 was able to force player blue over to that corner. Let's say they just get out of the way. This, I'm just trying to make this easy. I'm not running an actual offense press break against it. Um, and he's going to force that player over to that sideline, and now he's trapped. He can't pass the ball or dribble the ball back over the court. And if nobody is open, so the defense would end up running like this. If there's nobody open, then you've got nothing. This player is open way over here, but we could have player 5. He's going to pick that pass off. So that is why the trap defense is so good. Now, the only idea is to try and run it successfully that is the hard part now I always show my players two different ways let's go back up to the camera I always show my players two different ways I show my players on a clipboard either an iPad or on an actual whiteboard like a clipboard kind of thing you've probably seen other coaches use them or the other option is running it on the court with your players I do both so basically when I'm on the court with my players, I am walking, the first time I'm showing them the press I wanna run, I will have them walk through it. No offense, just one ball, with one player with the ball, and we're gonna walk through it. We're gonna show them where the defense goes when the ball is in a certain location. And then we're gonna run it with three players. Once three players are running through it, those three players are gonna go and run hard against it at first, and then after that, we're going to go five players. We're going to go five on five, but we're going to be continuing to run that press defense. Anyone under the age of grade eight, I generally run two different presses. I'll run a full court and I'll run a half court. At the older age groups, the high school age, I'll run roughly two, sometimes three, depending on the level that they're at, two or three press breaks, or I mean press off press defenses and uh, one or two half court. That way we can have multiple different angles at the, the offensive team, the other team trying to beat us. 
Uh, the other one we can also run is a full court press. That's just basically full court man. I would always run that at any age group you can possibly do that at. Just because you want to have the other team run and wear them down. But again, show them in person. Show them slowly at first in person. And then also show them on the clipboard. Depending on your team, you might want to show them on the court first and then show them on the clipboard after and then go full speed back on the court again. It's totally up to you as a coach. Myself, I show them on the clipboard, then we'll go on the court itself, go slow, go a little bit quicker with three players and full speed with five players, five on five. But again, the main thing is to try and trap that player along the sideline and to do that, there is one drill and one drill only that I use and let me show you. I'll take you back down to the clipboard. So there's multiple different variations of doing this. This is actually technically two different drills. So you can have a lineup on this end of the court, another lineup as we see here. We can run this on both sides of the court, one going down this way, another one going down this way. And basically we're going to have these two players playing team or playing as a team against this one ball handler and how we're going to run that is basically if he's going up this way we want player three to be bringing him and making sure that he wants to dribble towards the sideline and player four is stopping player one from doing a spin move or just crossing the ball over and going this way so these players have to stay in tandem now, if player one does start pushing back against player four, what we need is for player three to start trying to steal that ball from player one. That is something I wouldn't explain at first. What At first, I would just explain, hey, player three is the one who is aiming, player four is the one who's stopping. Now, what I mean by earlier, by this is kind of two drills in one, you can actually run this two against three full court now obviously we don't want player five to be gunning down the court if he does player three is going to be trailing him but what we have is now the two closest players to the ball one's going to be stopping one's going to be aiming that's the words I use and player three is going to be on player five blue so that there can't be a pass if there is a pass Player 3 now is the one who is aiming, player 2 red is now going to be stopping, and player 4 is going to be guarding player 1. These drills work really well, and by explaining to your players what a trap really is and how to do it, it will make them become better players. You want to have as many ways as teaching them how to do something as possible and tangibly on the court is great and visually on a clipboard is also great and another way of learning. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you have any drills possible at all that you run yourself to teach your team the trap defense. Anyways, until next time, well, I'll see you tomorrow anyways because I post videos every single day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, quick, 10 second ad, or at least I'm gonna try for 10 seconds. I have a basketball defense book that I know you will enjoy. Basically, anything below that free throw line, this whole area, gets a double team. So try it out, check out the link in the description. It is called The Unbeatable Basketball Defense. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.